Creating an LLC in Kansas is pretty straightforward, but when you finally get around to fleshing out your operating agreement, there are important decisions to make that set the tone of exactly how you will do business and get paid. Operating agreements are the lifeblood of your business and may be the most important document that you will create throughout the life of your company. With that, let's go over a few important things to know before creating your agreement. In this video, we'll cover a quick overview of LLCs and operating agreements, laws specific to the state of Kansas, what to include in your operating agreement, and where to find an official template. First, what is an LLC? In the United States, you can classify your business in a number of ways, depending on its characteristics. An LLC or limited liability company is a form of business with special regulations, which include shielding members from certain liabilities, which is impossible if the business is a partnership or a sole proprietorship. LLCs are relatively simple to create and manage and unlike types of corporations, taxes pass through the business directly to members, which avoids instances of double taxation. Now, let's cover the basis behind operating agreements. What is an operating agreement? Operating agreements lay out all of the rules for your business's financial and functional decisions, which among many things include work-related responsibilities for members, as well as how profits are divided. The document essentially governs the internal operations of the business, and it isn't one size fits all, so it can be tailored to a company's specific needs. Once the document is signed, it legally binds members to the terms stated in the agreement. But why do you need an operating agreement? Operating agreements are a necessity because other than organizing and defining important processes, they also help solidify and protect a business's limited liability positioning. Without a formal agreement, businesses may seem akin to partnerships or sole proprietorships. Requirements in Kansas. The state of Kansas does not require LLCs to create or file an operating agreement. Even so, it's highly recommended that any LLC in the state implement this document because without it, managing members could be personally liable in instances of lost litigation. What to include in an operating agreement? Operating agreements are sometimes 20 pages long and you will want to make sure that every matter concerning your business's finances and operations are written out and regulated. Important matters to clearly outline in an operating agreement are division of ownership, member authorities, labor and responsibilities, voting rights and clauses, transfer of interest and buyout rules, meeting frequency and rules, terms for adding new members, profit and loss allocations, methods and frequency of disbursements, and anything else pertaining to the LLC's operations. After you have finished your operating agreement, it is recommended to have an attorney review it to be extra sure that you didn't leave out any critical information. We're eForms the biggest online database of legal documents. Access your legally binding templates for LLC operating agreements specific to Kansas at the link below. And don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos.